It's Thursday, May 17th. Welcome to Pastor Bob Daily. Kenneth from Facebook says, What would you say are the differences between a religious person and a born-again Christian? Well, Jesus had a lot to say about this. You know, when he talked about religious people of his day, he used very strong language. We would probably call them almost cuss words today. He called them broods of vipers. He called them whitewashed fences. <laughs> and those were fighting words in those days. Well, why was he so upset about it? And why did he warn people so much? Well, you know, we can usually understand the differences between right and wrong. You have a conscience inside of you that tells you whether you're doing something right or wrong, whether you're a Christian or not. But religion is that one thing that confuses us the most. When somebody says, this is what you have to do to be saved, this is what you have to do for God to like you, you know, all of those things, we kind of throw that conscience stuff out the window and we say, this is what I have to do. Religion confuses us. And folks, can I say that there's a whole lot of religion these days in our Christianity. You know, if you were to strip our faith down to its basics, it's simply this. Jesus Christ died on the cross to set us free, to remove sin from our lives, to remove sin from the equation so that sin wouldn't be a barrier between us and God anymore. And he set us free, period. Now, that's kind of the foundation of our faith. And obviously the Bible tells us how to live and how to celebrate our faith, but most other things are a bit of fluff, like what our buildings should look like, or should we even have any buildings? And by the way, you know I've been talking about this a lot. Christianity talks about church, or the Bible talks about churches as the body of Christ getting together, not buildings. Buildings weren't even introduced into the Christian faith until about 300 years after Jesus left. So what about that? Well, you see, religion is those things that we kind of add to it, or traditional things, or we add kind of a lot of stuff to our basic faith. Religion says God won't like you unless you perform this way and this way and this way. But you know, the Bible says that sin was always a barrier between us and God. And Jesus' death on the cross was profound. It removed the barrier. No longer does sin uh, separate me from God. Now, that's a difficult thing for a religious person to believe. Because we still feel like for some reason we have to work our way to heaven. And we're used to working. You know, you don't get ahead in this world unless you work hard, unless you're responsible unless you keep your life clean. And so we expect for the same thing to happen when we approach God, but things are different there. God says, I love you because of what Jesus Christ did in your life, because he washed away your sins, and I'm able to have a relationship with you now. You know, God loved us that much that he sent Jesus. That's pretty huge. But he did it for a reason, because he desired to have a relationship with us that we could not produce. Now that's important. You know, if you could have been that perfect person, if you could have been that person that doesn't do anything wrong, and if you could have removed your own sin, Jesus would never have died on the cross. The point is, folks, you can't. And the religious person says, I can work my way to heaven. And the Bible says, you can't. That's why Jesus died on the cross. So you see, it's profoundly important that we understand that religion, working our way to heaven, doesn't get you there because you will fail every single time. Again, the reason that Jesus died on the cross. You know, we use this term, born-again Christian. And I'm not so sure I like that term personally. I'd rather call myself a follower of Jesus Christ. 
uh, I think that's more what how I would define my life. And I have defined my life according to his. And I think that's the greatest part about it. So religious, biblical Christian, born again Christian, what are you today? Are you still trying to work your way to heaven? Trying to make God love you? Or have you simply accepted Jesus Christ as your savior and realized that he loved you so much that he died for you and your sin as a result, when you ask, has been removed. God bless you. Have a great day.